Hello, my lovelies. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week. It is Monday. Um, it is the beginning of a long week, and this is going to be my last week at home before, before I start working, which means I will start commuting to Orlando, Florida a bunch of times next month. So um, commute, work, come back, commute, work, come back, and that's going to be my routine. By the way, this is Gucci. Hi, Gucci. You want to say hi? This is my baby. My little baby. Do you see my little baby? She's our little adoptive little sweetheart. She's such a good girl. And she's giving mommy kisses because I put some lip balm. Say hi to everybody. Unfortunately, Gucci has a few little health issues and she was given to us by a breeder. Um, so I went and picked her up in Florida, Pensacola. Right, honey? I know. She's got a few conditions. She's um, going blind, poor thing. She's not even a year old yet. She's going blind. She's got some hip issues, so she can't really walk that well. She's got a another condition that gives her a really, really dry nose. So she's treated. She gets drops, and, you know, she's got a lot of issues going on. But we love her. She's a cuddly bug, and she came to the right home because I'm always home. And if I'm not, I have a sitter, and my kids are home. So she gets, look at her. Look at her. She's so cute. Anyways, <laughs> so today what I want to talk about is something that I purchased not too long ago and I was gonna make a review and I forgot it in one of my reviews, um, purchases from Amazon. And I'm gonna make a video just about that because I've been traveling with it and it's been amazing. All right, so it is called Let's Innovate a Life, okay? You can find this on Amazon or you can go to their website to purchase it. Um, this lady came up with this invention and I think it's genius. Now, you know how many times I get cold on the plane? I am always cold. Look, I'm cold right now. Well, it is kind of like in the 60s, so it went from like the 100 to the 60s and then, ugh. So I ran today and it was absolutely frozen and I'll probably put a video right here. It's so cold, you guys. It went from like the high 90s, 100s, What the hell? It is so cold. Here of me with the hoodie and dying. <laughs> but anyways, I got it done, all right? And so I could have gone to the gym, but I just love the fresh air and the sun. It just feels so much better. Um, all right, so I'm always cold, especially when I travel. So I have special pants, which are like double lining. Um, they have kind of like a fur lining inside and they have a uh, waterproof kind of like material on the outside. So the double lining, whenever I wear them, they're so thick, but they keep me warm through the entire flight. Um, I love those pants. I wear them all the time. If you guys want to know more about those pants, I can put the link under here. Um, if not, then that's fine. You can find them also on um, Amazon. So um, Let's Innovate Life is a blanket pillow in home cars lumbar support okay seat cushion um, it's a headrest um, and it's also kind of like a pocket where you can put just about anything passports boarding passes small accessory like your cell phone um, it's got a handle it's got a suitcase strap and it's got a back strap and and like that's not enough it comes with an inflatable neck pillow in the pocket like seriously you guys all right that's why it deserves a a review on its own <laughs> all right so um when you do purchase it there is a video on amazon that tells you a little bit about the product um but i wanted you guys to see it more in details because i mean the video is quite fast um so it comes like this so it's got a little pocket you can carry it okay like a little purse which is really cute and then it's got the strap in the back which fits right in back of a suitcase all right and then you got your little so the good thing is once you strap it behind your handle of your suitcase you know how you always want to grab things because you can't find them so you might go in your suitcase you might go in your purse i like to keep everything in here there's two pockets there's one in the front and there is one in the back right here but i think the way that you fall, okay so here it is so this is the pocket, the outside pocket that is quite deeper uh, and you can put your passport, you can put your things. So when you do slide it in the handle, um, it's easy access. You have it right away, right there. So nobody's going to think of stealing. If they have bad intentions, they'll go for your purse rather than your 
kind of your fluffy little, it looks like a pillow. So they're not even gonna think that there's anything in the pillow. So you have your little secret pocket. You can have everything handy there, uh, which is wonderful. Now I'm gonna close that up and, um, and let's open it, you guys. So what you do is there's a zipper all around and you unzip it. It's the best part. Um, so easy, you guys. I thought it was gonna be complicated and I thought I was gonna have to read like instruction, but I did not have to do that. All right, okay. So zip it up, open it up, you guys, and you will find a beautiful blankie, which like can literally cover you entirely. Like when I say entirely, I mean entirely. Look at this. And it's covering my legs. It is comfortable and it is so soft. It's kind of like a velvety kind of a feel, uh, but it's got that, um, and it's double-sided, so it's not just one side. And it comes in different colors. I wanted black just because if it gets dirty, you can't really see it. <laughs> but um, I love it. You can put it on your shoulders, and you, it, there's no size to put it. You can just kind of look at this, you guys. I love it, because I'm always cold, and this is awesome on long trips. Um, so now, once you have it on, all right, then I'm covering Gucci right now. She's sitting on my lap, and she's totally covered. Um, so you are sitting here, you can open these pockets, okay? And then you'll have a space right here that you can put your cell phone, you guys. Put your cell phone, you can put some money, uh, you can put your boarding pass, whatever it is that you need, and then you zip it up. You could do that from the outside. So when it's, before you even open it, you can put it in and it'll get stuck right here between the two lining, which is wonderful. Um, so you can use it and all your stuff is in there, your secret, little compartments are in there. And then the other compartment, you could do the same thing. So you have the two compartments here side by side. See the zippers here and there? So you can open that up, put all your stuff, open that up, put the other stuff in there, all your secret things. Um, uh, and it comes in this really tiny, it's about the size of my hand. It's actually smaller than my hand. Take it out of the plastic. You can leave it in the plastic or not, it's up to you. Open it up. That. and look at that you guys and you have your neck pillow now you've got your little inflatable right here just inflate it I will do it so I could show you and once you're done put it behind your back and there goes your pillow so you don't have to carry your pillow with you now once you're done obviously you deflate it boop, boop, boop. fold it back um, it already has the line so it's really easy to fold it back put it back in the bag if you want to if not you will um, just grab your blanket, open any of the zippers. Okay, these are your little compartments. You can put money in it and stuff like that. Put it in your little compartment, zip it up. Nobody knows that your little neck thingy is there, um, your neck pillow, I mean. And so, and there goes your blanket. Put it back and all your goods are all within this blankie, which is fantastic. Um, and then to put it back, into a little pillow, it's pretty easy, but you can, you're on the plane, you don't wanna have, you can't, you don't have the luxury to just lay it down, you know, on top of all the seats and whatnot. So find a zipper and you guys, and just start zipping. I'm telling you, it's just gonna stuff itself up. Really, zip it up, keep zipping it up. Um, you don't have to fold anything, you just kind of shove it in there, because you can see the zippers on both sides. So just kind of line them, keep zipping. See how I just did it? And now the blankie's kind of, coming out of there just tug it in you don't have to fold it especially in a plane you don't have that luxury of spreading out the you know the blanket so I'm stuffing it in as much as I can it doesn't get bulky that's the beautiful um, that's the beautiful thing about this is that it does not get bulky to a point where it's so thick that you don't know where to put it because it's taking too much space um, all right so I'm almost done it was really easy to do to be honest with you just follow the zippers Okay, see, I just did it in front of you. We're done, we've zipped it. Um, now this pocket is left open. I'm gonna close it up because I didn't have anything. On the other side is where we put our stuff, uh, which is that little pillow. Let's look to see, make sure it's still intact. Um, yes, it's in there. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da, and it is right here, all right? I didn't put it back in a little plastic container. I probably will because I'm gonna travel soon. Um, so yeah, it just adds a protection to it. Um, I didn't blow it up. I guess you guys get the idea. You know, it's, uh, 
it's a neck pillow but it's made of velvet and it's inflatable you know now is it gonna be cushiony it depends if you blow it as you know to the maximum where it's not even comfortable then no it might not be comfortable but if you don't blow it totally it's got a little velvety finish to the um the pillow so it's not as bad but here you have it it's back into its little container it's still flat because it's squishable um again you grab it put it behind your suitcase handle and then you just roll i mean it's fantastic you guys um I wasn't sponsored to speak about it. I just bought it because I was looking for a blanket for travel, but it's just, it takes too much space in my suitcase because I have my uniform, I have my uniform shoes, I've got my nylons, I've got a coat in case I get cold because now we're transitioning in winter. Um, I have so much going on and a blanket just would not fit. Now this is wonderful, slides into the handle. I forget about it, it's easy when you put your carry on, it just goes with it. I don't have to stuff a huge blanket and it's pretty thick you guys and it's very warm so i wanted to share this video i hope it was educational um i don't know if you're the freezing kind because <laughs> i i am cold all the time <laughs> i don't know what it is especially now that it's winter i am shutting my ac i'm gonna save some electricity money i'm gonna open all the windows and get some fresh air um it's exciting because like the bill is gonna go from like so much a month to like almost nothing um but it's gonna be cold I don't like the cold i love the heat i know it's crazy enough running in 120 degrees out there but i love the heat you guys i just i'm a heat person this is why i moved to florida originally and that's why i'm based in orlando still <laughs> even though i'm closer to las vegas but but anyways i hope you guys are all doing well um I've been coaching the last couple of weeks, so you guys have taken the initiative. Some of you have sent your resume to um, Mesa Airline. I'm really proud of you, and you've done really, really well, so I'm excited. I've done some resume already as well, um, and I'm also excited uh, to announce that the way things are looking, um, it seems like by December, our numbers as far as passengers is going back to the way it was a year or two years ago which means the loss that we took the last this last year or you know um when COVID started our numbers are going back to the way it used to be so you guys that is huge we thought we were going to take a big hit and go back to normal probably in 20 like the end of 2021 2022 because of covid seems like everybody's going back to traveling which is awesome uh, our passenger count is increasing they are needing um more flight attendants now um so i'm really excited you guys like i said do not wait for last minute if you need coaching do it now i'm here for you i will coach you get you ready get your resume out do not wait see this somebody a wise man once told me do not wait for the opportunity to come to actually get yourself ready and gather all your stuff together to submit either your resume or your uh, your skills. What you need to do is you need, I'm gonna say this in layman terms and in terms that you guys can understand, you need to wait for the opportunity while you are ready as opposed to get ready when the opportunity arrives. I don't know if that makes sense. So in other words, um, it's just like losing weight, okay? And let's say you're single like I am, um, don't wait to meet someone in order to lose weight and then start losing weight just when you meet someone and someone that you really like. You want to start working on yourself and achieve the goal that you want to achieve and then that right person will come along and you would have achieved that goal already. Or I'll give you another example. Um, you build your portfolio. Let's say you're an artist. You build your portfolio. You have it ready. Your resume is ready and then you go to this party and you meet this producer or this person that is interesting and is interested in your portfolio now he'll ask you can I see the work that you've done if you're not ready and you don't have it with you okay and you need to build it and it'll take time you're losing an opportunity especially when you have that portfolio ready in your car let's say or your business card and then you see this person that could hire you and give you a huge opportunity it's good that you have it handy you just give it to him and be like, hey, I've been waiting for that opportunity to come along because you were prepared. So I know those are really ridiculous examples, maybe, maybe not. Um, to me, that's the way I see life. I see life like, let me get ready, let me have everything um, at my disposition so when the opportunity arises, I can just jump on it. I don't wait for the opportunity to arise and then I'm not ready 
and then it's kind of like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I need this training, I don't know what to do. I fail the interview and then I have to wait another year until I get that opportunity again. So FYI, get ready now. The opportunities are gonna knock at your door very quickly, you guys, so don't wait. I'm talking like December, January. I know Frontier is waiting to hire um, and then the other airlines are all gonna follow. So, and there's some of them hiring already right now. So keep an eye out and um, be ready, be ready. And when that opportunity comes, jump on that wagon right away. Don't wait for it to come for you to get ready. Be ready already, if that makes any sense. <laughs> all right, guys, I love you. Those were my words of wisdom today. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I love you very much and um, Stay tuned, I'll have another video coming up in about two days, and it'll be a wonderful video. You're gonna see things that I'm, are a little creepy. Anyways, I'm not gonna get into the details, but I can't wait for you to get to stay tuned. Please subscribe, subscribe. Gives me a thumbs up, because the algorithm on uh, YouTube, when they see a lot of thumbs up, they kind of push your video to the top, so that'll help me a lot um, to get exposure. And uh, I wanna share all of my tips and tricks, and I also wanna help everyone with their interview because they are coming up. I'm so excited. All right, I wish you success and uh, keep following you guys. Subscribe, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Love you, have a great week, bye.